Sun Deluxe, this month's Unblurred Crafted in Resident at Assemble, a space for community and arts and technology in Garfield, Pittsburgh, PA. So last week we discussed the fundamentals of sound, pitch, volume, and timbre. And we also looked at some ways to synthesize our own sounds from scratch. This week we'll take sounds from the real world and make music with them. Of course, people have always used sounds from the real world to make music, but the process of storing them electronically and then strategically playing them back didn't start until the 1940s when the tape recorder was invented. The invention of the tape recorder allowed people to take seemingly mundane sounds, like a book, for instance, and make music with it. And the... <laughs> <laughs> The movement was called Musique Concrète, and it was led by Pierre Schaeffer. Today, we'll take some sounds that I found around the workshop and make music with them using an online DAW called Soundtrap. DAW is short for a Digital Audio Workstation, which is a fancy term for an application that we can make music with. So, we did a little search around the workshop and we were able to find some pretty cool stuff. We put together a rubber band in a box that kind of sounds like a guitar. We have a bell kind of thing. A glockenspiel that can only play in C major. A book. And also this coffee mug. All right, so let's take these sounds and mess around with them in Soundtrap. So I really liked the rubber band attached to the box. So maybe we can start from there. You can get to this, the screen that I'm at by typing in the link up here. And I think you have to make an account or something, but then you should be good. So the first thing we're going to do is add a new track. We'll go to voice and microphone so we can record from the computer. And then we can start recording. Cool, let's see what that sounded like. Cool. So next we can start playing with the audio file in weird ways. Um, a cool thing that it lets you do is actually splice these. Um, when people first started messing around with tape recordings, this would be similar to actually cutting the reel and then putting it back in so you can affect them differently. So now we have three different parts and we can do different things to them. Maybe for this one, we'll pitch it down and then reverse it reverse and then this one we can pitch it up and here Ooh, I wonder what these are. Alien? Let's see what alien sounds like. I like it.
cool. Let's try recording something else. Next, we can mess around with these this glockenspiel. I'll hit start recording again. what that sounded like. And again, I'll splice it up. So this would be cool pitch down. Then maybe we'll make some smaller splices like right here and make that stutter. We can do that by copying and pasting. <laughs> then maybe reverse the last one. Or just pitch it up. this whole thing it's pretty nice so I put a bunch of those sounds together and combined it with the built-in machines that they have in Soundtrap and this is what I got As always, thanks for joining, and my info and socials is in the description below, and have a good weekend. Thanks so much for joining us this week for Saturday Crafternoon. We would love to see what you've created. To do so, please share by posting on our Facebook page, tagging us on Instagram, at assemblepgh, or email me at my email, leah at assemblepgh dot org. And if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.